How concerned are you about a growing deficit? I'm going to be all right. It's my kids and my kids' kids that are going to be suffering and paying for this Liberal government, this Liberal government's decisions. I thought Pierre Trudeau was bad for, for Canada, but uh, his son is even worse. The federal deficit now, I suppose, is like gone through the moon because it's, you know, they're dealing with COVID and now they have that excuse to blame everything on. So how you'd ever untangle that mess, I don't know. Personally, I don't know. Print some more money. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> it's already become too big an animal for the problem to be, you know, it's going to self-perpetuate. You know, it's like a wheel now that's got momentum, it just can't stop. You know, I, I think there's going to be a long-term effects from this and... I think that a lot of people, not even now, but in the years to come, are going to have difficulties with jobs. So it's kind of concerning to see where this might be going. Very concerned because um, there's a lot of people now that are um, very limited income, uh, people out of work. And um, right now, um, uh, if, uh, if for them to make up for, for that money now, um, they may end up increasing taxes again, uh, which is something that will be... Uh, um, really harsh on the on the economy here. You have a people people will end up leaving the province. Not really concerned because I think we'll always have a deficit. It's just money, really, at the end of the day. You know, it's a tough one for me because I know that I've also seen reports on how poverty has lessened. You know, because of the money that's been going out. But is it going into the right, the hands of the right people? Maybe not all of it. Because we're in like a condition that is like unprecedented, they, it's definitely things that have to be spent and a deficit is going to occur and I think that we just we're going to have to deal with that in the future because we're in an unprecedented time. So what else are you supposed to do? I would say fairly, fairly concerned. Uh, I think there's a lot of small businesses um, that are relying on um, people being out and about and the government has to step in and do something but that obviously means that this money is going to have to come from somewhere. Um, so I, I think it's going to be a struggle going forward for the country, but um, I'm confident that we're going to be able to pull through. It's a, it's a concern, but I think at the same time that there's a, a real need for that deficit to, to, to be as high as it is and potentially continue to grow. Um, everyday Canadians are struggling, businesses are struggling. Um, I, I just really do think that, uh, that the government has a role to play in making sure that putting people first basically. So I feel like this is a wartime economy and we'll just have to deal with it and it won't be hopefully like the Second World War and go on for like five or six years. Hopefully in the next year we're gonna come out of this so I don't mind a growing deficit right now. You know my real concern is what is our tax situation going to look like over the next couple of years as they try and recoup this sort of as quickly as they can. Everyone is losing out in the end. Um, businesses especially. I mean I don't know how a lot of businesses have gone under. I don't know how businesses are even going to recoup all the loss. What are they going to do? What are their options? If they don't do anything then there's going to be so many people that are going to be screwed. Um, but so they have to do something. I guess it's really like what they're going to do and how they're going to get rid of this huge deficit once this all settles, if this all settles, and when this all settles, right? right. I pray to God that it does soon, right? Like everybody, right? But it may go on for another year, right? What is the other option? Uh, what I would like to see is though all of the companies and firms who are making money in the pandemic pay a little more taxes that would offset the deficit and that would be a a nice change to see. I think we have to have a look at some of these offshore accounts that are holding money that should be taxed for good here in Canada and helping people in the pandemic is certainly a good use of tax money. I don't feel that, I, I don't think that that fear is, is productive, for, for me personally anyway. I think that there's been a lot of scientific evidence about investing in community and the downstream, you know, cost savings that 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 come from that. Um, and when I see the amount of homelessness in Hamilton and the amount of people suffering, I can't say, yeah, we need to save more money. Like for for what? Like we just need to readjust the budgets and find more efficiencies within government because not investing in communities is never the right answer. Well, I'm very concerned that people are taking advantage. 
And that part bothers me. Because if so many people take advantage, then the people that do need it, it won't be there for them. And then it'll be cut off for the ones that, that seriously need it. Well, it was definitely helpful having EI when I was off from work at first. Um, so, I mean, I do think it's important that everyone has that option. But um, at the same time, I feel like with our generation, everything's kind of always seemed out of reach, like buying a home, saving. So to me, it hasn't really changed too much because I've always kind of been worried about that to begin with before all this.